Hello everyone, welcome to your channel Physics with Oliva. Today we will start another problem. Let's see the problem. A particle is free to move on x-axis in which of the following case the particle will execute oscillation about x equals to 1. We have to find for which case the particle will execute oscillation. Before starting the problem, I would like to request you to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. Okay. Here we will uh, take one option and from option we will check whether it is oscillating or not. At first we have to understand that what is oscillation. Suppose uh, we are drawing a simple pendulum. Okay. The pendulum is like this hanging and now uh, we have taken the string here. So, the force on the pendulum will act in this direction. This is the restoring force. Due to this force, the pendulum will come back to this equilibrium position. This is the equilibrium position. And after that, the pendulum will go to this extreme position. And now the restoring force will act along this direction. And again, the pendulum come to the equilibrium position. So now we can say this position is equilibrium position because when we displace the pendulum from this equilibrium position, the pendulum is coming back to this position, right? So here we have to see that if we displace the particle, the force is acting towards x equals to 1 or not. We have to say this, uh, which we will understand if we do this. Take the first option, f is equals to x minus 1. Okay, this is uh, free to move on x-axis. So, this is one dimensional motion. Free to move on x-axis. So, this is one dimensional motion. This is 0. This is x equals to 1, 2, 3 like this. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this. x equals to 1 point. We have to take this point. So, for, uh, for x is greater than 1, if x is greater than 1, then what will be the value of the force? It is greater than 0 or less than 0. If x is greater than 1, then from the equation we can say that x is also greater than 0, right? Suppose x is 2. x is greater than 1. That means suppose x is 2. So 2 minus 1 is positive. Every time the answer should be positive because x is greater than 1. So, x is greater than 1 means we have to take this region. If we take the particle in this region, the force is positive. That means the force will act in this direction. Okay. If we take x is less than 1, if the value of the x is uh, less than 1, that means minus, uh, that means 0, minus 1, minus 2, put any value which is less than 1. Then we will get the force. The value of the force will be less than 0. That means the force will act in negative direction. Right? So the force will act in this direction. That means if we take the particle in this position where x is greater than 0, the force will act in this direction. If we take the particle in this direction when x is less than uh, my 1, then the particle will move in this direction. Right? So, from here we can clearly see the particle is not coming back to the equilibrium position. If we displace the particle from the equilibrium position, that is x equals to 1, the particle will not coming back to the equilibrium position. So, for this force, uh, the particle will not execute oscillation about x equals to 1, right? We have taken the, we have checked the first option. Now, uh, like this process, we will check the option 2, 3 and 4 also. Okay, let's see. Following this process, we will discuss option 2. We have written the option 2. If x is greater than 1, then this quantity will be positive and square of any positive quantity is also positive, but a negative sign is given. So, the force will be less than 0, negative. Okay. If we put x is less than 1, if x is less than 1, uh, any value where x is less than 1 is applied here, then we will get a negative value. But the negative square of any negative value is positive. 
so this entire quantity should be positive and a negative sign is given so the force will become less than zero again so graphically we can see uh, if we put the value x is greater than 1, then the force is negative. If we put the value x is less than 1, then also the force is negative. So, for this case, the particle is not returning to its equilibrium position, right? So, the second option is also not correct. Now, we will discuss the third option. See here, if x is greater than 1, then the entire quantity should be positive and cube of a positive quantity is positive and a negative sign is given. So the force will be negative. For x less than 1, for, for x less than 1, the quantity should be negative and the cube of a negative quantity is also negative. And another negative sign is given. So negative into negative, the force will be positive. Right? So this is positive. So... Uh, for x is greater than 1, the force is negative. And for the x is less than 1, the force is positive. For both cases, if we displace the particle from x equals to 1 position, uh, the particle will come back to the x equals to 1 position. That means uh, for this case, x equals to 1 is the equilibrium position and the particle will execute oscill oscillation about the point x equals to 1. So option 3 is the correct option. We can also check the option 4. We can also check the option 4. Let's check the option 4. f is equals to x minus 1 cube. If x is greater than 0, then the force will be this one. If x is greater than 0, then this quantity will be a positive quantity. Cube of a positive quantity is also positive. And if x is less than 0, this quantity should be a negative quantity. And cube of a negative quantity is also a negative quantity. So for this case, sorry, this is greater than 1. If for this case, when x equals to x is greater than 1, then force is greater than 0. That means the force is positive. When x is less than 1, then the force is negative. So in, is, in this case, the uh, particle is not returning to the position x equals to 1 for uh, x greater than 1 or x less than 1. For both positions, the particle is not returning to the point x equals to 1. That means it is also not uh, following the oscillation. So option 3 will be the correct answer. I hope you understand. Please subscribe the channel and share with your friends.